اوزباللہ نشی توانی رجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ناظرین میں امتیاز شاہد آپ سے مخاطب ہوں آپ دیکھ رہے ہیں میرا ڈیجیٹل چینل ناظرین آج میں آپ کو نومبر سولہ سے لے کے نومبر تیس تک کے پاکستان کے متعلقہ کرنٹ افیئر دے رہا ہوں تو شروع کرتے ہیں ہم ان نومبر ٹوینٹی ٹوینٹی تھری طالبان ایکٹنگ کامرس منسٹر حاجی نور الدین عزیزی وزٹ پاکستان ہی واز ریسیوڈ بائی فارن منسٹر آف پاکستان جلی جیلانی نیکسٹ گہر ایوب گہر ایوب خان اے فارمر نیشنل اسمبلی اسپیکر اینڈ سن آف فارمر پریزیڈنٹ جنرل ایوب خان پاسٹ اوے ان اسلام آباد آن سیونٹینتھ نومبر ٹوینٹی ٹوینٹی تھری نیکسٹ گہر ایوب خان دا سیکنڈ سن آف ایکس پریزیڈنٹ ایوب خان واز بارن آن ففٹینتھ جین نائنٹین تھرٹی سیون ہی سرو ان دا پاکستان آرمی فرام نائنٹین ففٹی نائن ٹو نائنٹین سکسٹی ٹو اینڈ ٹوک این ارلی He also served as his father's ADD camp, that's mean ATC, while he was the president. Next, in November 2023, the Asian Development Bank, ADP, approved $250 million loans to help deliver reliable electricity in Pakistan by expanding and improving the power transmission network in the countries Punjab and Khyber Pakhtunkhwa provinces. Next, the 2023-24 Pakistan Cup is a list A cricket competition that took place in Pakistan from 1st to 19th November 2023. Next, in 2023-24 Pakistan Cup, uh, eight teams participated and total 31 matches were played. Next, in the finals of 2023-24 Pakistan Cup, Peshawar defeated Karachi Whites by five wickets. Next. On 20th November 2023, the State Bank of Pakistan SBP issued the latest data on foreign inflows showing no encouraging signs for the country. The total foreign investment dipped by over 12% to $122.5 million in October against $140 million in the same month last year. However, the inflows during the July-October were $524.7 million compared to $489.8 million in the same period last year, registering an increase of 7.1%. Next, inflows from China were the highest at $158 million during July-October 2023, but remained lower than last year's $170 million in the same period of last year, that's mean July to October 2022. The second highest investment of $106.5 million came from Hong Kong, doubling the last year's $52 million. Other important inflows were $55.8 million from the Netherlands, $66.5 million from the UK, and $43.5 million from the US. Next. The World Bank mission is building 11 flood detention dams under the Irrigation Department's Sin Flood Emergency Rehabilitation Project for harvesting rainwater to recharge groundwater and turn wastelands into fertile farmland. Next, the high-level mission of building 11 flood detention dam is led by task team leader Ehsan Tehsin, Senior Disaster Risk Management Specialist. Next, LAT-01 dam project is being built at a cost of Rs. 1.6 billion and 77% of its work had been completed. The dam would also protect the M9 motorway and Karachi from flooding in future. The work on the project had been started on 21st March 2023 and would be completed by 19th March 2024. Next, according to a report released by Aid Data, a US-based international development research lab, Pakistan is the third biggest recipient of Chinese development finance worldwide, with a portfolio of $70.3 billion, with a total of $161 loans worth $68.9 billion, Pakistan constituted China's third largest country-level loan portfolio anywhere in the world. after Russia and Venezuela. Next, as per a data report, only 2% of China's portfolio in Pakistan between 2000 and 2021 
consisted of grants while the rest was in the form of loans that claims to have drawn its conclusions using data from more than 5300 sources next the average interest rate on loans was 3.72 percent with an average maturity period of 9.84 years and a grace period of 3.74 years next the top sector that received development finance in 2002-2021 was energy with a share of 40 percent or dollar 28.4 billion general budget support 30 percent share or dollar 21.3 billion and transport and storage 14 percent share or dollar 9.7 billion were the next two major recipients of chinese financing next the energy portfolio of dollar 28.4 billion was the biggest in the world with angola dollar 24.7 billion and vietnam dollar 21.7 billion following as the second and third biggest experience of Chinese development finance over the same period. Pakistan's energy portfolio represented 10.2% of China's entire global energy portfolio across dozens of countries. Next, an administration-wise breakdown of Chinese development finance between 2000 and 2021 showed that the PMLN government 2013-17 to managed to attract the highest flows that's dollar 36.2 billion in the 21 years period <coughs> in the idwara in the 21 year period period in the 21 year period the pti government attracted dollar 19.6 billion the ppp government dollar 10.4 billion and the musharraf government dollar 4.1 billion next on 21st November 2023, former Pakistan cricket bowlers Umar Gul and Saeed Ajmal were appointed as bowling coaches as the Pakistan Cricket Board PCB continues its overhaul of the team management after the team's first round knockout in the World Cup 2023. Next, Umar Gul has been appointed the first bowling coach while Saeed Ajmal will coach the spinners. Next. This would be the second time Gul will coach the green team as he was also the bowling coach during the three match T20 international series against Afghanistan in March 2023 and the subsequent series against the New Zealand at home in May 2023. Next, on 23rd November 2023, Pakistan's newly appointed ambassador to Russia, Mohammad Khalid Jamali announced that Pakistan has filed an application to join the BRICS group of nations in 2024. Next, six new members Argentina, Ethiopia, Egypt, Iran, Saudi Arabia, and UAE will formally become members of BRICS on 1st January 2024. Next, on 24th November 2023, Pakistan was elected with overwhelming support as vice chair of unesco executive board for the term 2023 to 2025 from the asia pacific group the elections were held at the 218th session of the unesco executive board held in paris next the general election 2024 will be held on 8th february 2024 next as per its annual tradition bbc on 21st november 2023 released the names of 100 inspiring and influential women across the world, recognizing their contributions to society. Next, two Pakistani women, Afroz Numa and Neha Mankani, have also made it to the prestigious list. Next, Afroz Numa, who is considered as one of the last Waki spearheaders, is recognized by the BBC for her community work in maintaining the ancient customs. She devoted nearly 30 years of her life to care for goats, yaks, and sheep, and the significance of the family trait, which is currently in danger of disappearing in Pakistan's uh, Shimshal Valley. Next, on the other hand, Neha Mankani has received praise for her efforts to alleviate the effects of the climate calamity 
especially in the wake of the devastating floods that hit Pakistan in 2022. Next. They are featured with notable people like Hollywood star America Ferrara, human rights attorney Amal Clooney, former U.S. First Lady Michelle Obama, AI specialist Timit Gebru, ne- Ballon d'Or winner Aitana Bon Matai, feminist icon Gloria Steinem, and beauty mogul Uda. Katan. Next. On 26 November 2023, Karachi Mayor Barrister Murtza Bahab unveiled the Metropolis' first ever zipline adventure as the Safari Park. Next. On 26 November 2023, caretaker Prime Minister Anwarul Hakkakar landed in Abu Dhabi on an official visit to the United Arab Emirates, UAE. Next. In November 2023, UAE pledged $25 billion investment in Pakistan. Next, in November 2023, Pakistan successfully completed the two-week-long multinational joint counterterrorism exercise Fajr al-Shark 5, held at the National Counterterrorism Center in the Pabi district of Khyber Khutunkhwa. Next, Fajr al-Shark 5 is a multinational joint exercise in the counterterrorism domain among the special forces of Pakistan, Bahrain, Iraq, and Kuwait. Next, the exercise is aimed at nurturing of joint employment and interoperability besides harnessing the historic military to military relations among the brotherly countries. Next, on 27 November 2023, the Banu Cantonment Board Chief Executive Officer Bilal Pasha, CSV Officer, allegedly committed suicide by shooting himself inside his official residence. Next. On 27 November 2023, Pakistan Army Chief General Asim Neer met Lieutenant General Fahad bin Abdullah Al-Mutair, commander of the Royal Saudi Land Forces RSLS, and discussed with him regional situation among other affairs of mutual interests. Next. The meeting was held at the Pakistan Army's General Headquarters GHQ in the garrison city of Rawal Pindi. Next. On 28 November 2023, PCB has appointed Adam Halioke as betting coach for the three men's tests against Australia starting next month. Next. Mr. Dev Anand, a resident of Tando Bago in Sin Baddin district, has etched his name in history by becoming the first Hindu pilot officer in the esteemed Pakistan Air Force, PEF. Next. Dev Anand holds a degree in public administration from China and graduated from the PEF Asar Khan Academy in Rasalpur. Next. His elder brother, Anil Kumar, is a lieutenant colonel in the Pakistan Army. Next. On 29 November 2023, the Pakistan Tehrik and Saf PTI announced that Barrister Gohar Khan had indeed been picked for the top slot by Mr. Khan himself. Next, the, the decision to nominate Gopur Khan as chairman of the party was formally announced by Senator Ali Zafar during a press conference in Islamabad. Next, on 29th November 2023, Pakistan and Kuwait agreed to further deepen bilateral relationship in diverse fields as interim Prime Minister Anwarul Haqqaqar and Chief of Army Staff General Asamani visited Middle Eastern nation and met Crown Prince Sheikh Mishal Al Ahmad Al Jabbar Al Sabah. Next, Pakistan inked at least seven agreements and three memorandums of understanding MOUs with Kuwait for investment worth dollar ten billion in various sectors in Pakistan. Next, after completing his two-day visit to Kuwait, caretaker Prime Minister Anwar Al Haqqaqar on 29 November 2023 reached Dubai to attend COP28 summit on climate change. Next, the Prime Minister headed the Pakistani delegation and the 28th Conference of Parties and attended the World Climate Action Summit from 1st to 2nd December 2023. Next, Foreign Minister Jalil Abbas Jilani, Finance Minister Dr. Shimshad Dr. Federal Minister for Climate Change Ahmed Irfan Aslam and Energy Minister Muhammad Ali will also participate 
in the COP28. On 29 November 2023, the Pakistan Hockey Federation announced the National Junior Side's 20 member squad for the upcoming FIH Hockey Junior World Cup next. Abdul Hanan Shahid will lead the team in the tournament set to be held in Kuala Lumpur from 5th to 16th December 2023. Next, the Pakistan State Oil threatened to stop oil supply to the National Airline PIA if outstanding dues were not settled by 13th October 2023. Next, Sister Zep's uh, birth name Rifat Arif has been named winner of the 2023 Global Teacher Prize at an award ceremony at UNESCO's General Conference in Paris. Next, the teacher from Gujarabala, Pakistan is the eighth educator to take home the US one million prize, joining previous winners Tisha Thor from the United States, Anajit Sin uh, Dizel from India, Peter uh, Tebishi from Kenya, Antria, Zephira Ko from the United Kingdom, Maggie McDonald from Canada, Hanan Al Harob from Palestine, and Nancy Atwell from the United States. Next, the prize is open to current teachers spending at least 10 hours per week teaching children aged between 5 and 18 years old. And this year's Sister Zaf was selected from over 7,000 nominations from 130 countries. India was also represented for the year's prize with Hari Krishna uh, Patasharo from the Ganthor district of Andhra Pradesh being named in the top 50 and Deep Naryan Naik from West Bengal making it all the way to the top 10. Next, New York State Assembly Deputy Speaker Phil Ramos pledged to declare Sindh and Punjab as sister states of New York in early 2024. Next, in November 2023, Pakistan joined a program being carried out by the Food and Agriculture Organiza Organization FAO of the United Nations for strengthening <coughs> capacity towards rabies elimination in Asia. Next, a national plan to eliminate dog-mediated human deaths by 2030 has been prepared in consultation with the University of Veterinary and Animal Sciences. Next, the survey of the dog population estimated the presence of 48,899 pet and 1,75,094 stray dogs in Islamabad. A total of 1,13,079 dog bites cases in humans and 76,405 dog bite cases in animals were reported in the last three years. The 2017 National Action Plan was developed through a detailed review of rabies documents and consultations with the stakeholders. Next. In November 2023, the Arab Monetary Fund, AMF, and State Bank of Pakistan, SVP, signed an MOU to facilitate across border remittances between the Arab region and Pakistan through formal channels. <laughs> <laughs>